Hi everyone, welcome to Battlestar Collectica. And in today's episode, we are gonna take a look at the first exclusive Mattel Battlestar Galactica action figure three pack that was a holiday exclusive at JCPenney in 1979. Now this first set is often called the Hero three pack because it includes Lieutenant Starbuck, Commander Adama, and the Daggett Muffy. And you can notice the price there for $5.97. So if you had ordered this through the Christmas catalog wish book for JCPenney, you would have received this brown box. Now you're gonna notice the price tag there is not JCPenney, it is Circus World Toy Stores. And we're gonna talk about that at the end of the video. But it's a nice sturdy brown box dated 1979 it has some nice graphics of the characters on the front. There's the stock number. And other than that, it does its job as a shipper. And I've seen a few of these with actual mailing labels on them. So this is something that JCPenney just mailed um, to its customers if they had ordered it at the Wish Book. I also think that it was available maybe in their toy department because I've seen a couple with actual JCPenney price stickers on them. So once you receive this and you opened it up, you would have found the first figure that I'm taking out, Muffy the Daggett. And what's interesting is that this is the second version, the second official variant of Muffy with the darker brown fur. So even though the catalog showed the light tan fur, I believe that what shipped was the darker tan fur. And I've seen three of these sets over the years and they've all had this version of Muffy the Daggett. So I don't think the tan version was ever offered in it. But there's the great sculpt for the robotic pet of Boxy. Here is Lieutenant Starbuck. Now what's interesting with these three packs is that the soft goods, the cape that you see there is of a thicker material and it's darker compared to the regular carded version that you would say have gotten at Toys R Us. You're gonna see his Colonial Warrior Blaster in a second, which is pretty pretty decent sculpt on that. You're gonna notice that the bags that the figures come in are marked Hong Kong. Now, over the years, a lot of different versions of these bags have popped up, some that are unmarked, some that are taped shut, and some that are stapled. But the set that I have here, they're not taped or stapled. There's no residue of any tape on them, at least. And here again, you have Commander Adama, who again has a darker cape and a little bit of a thicker soft, good touch to it. And here are all three of the characters on display with their shipping box. Now, as I was talking about earlier, this one is mentioned, um, has a price tag that mentions Circus World. I've seen these from Child World, Play World, Lionel Kitty City. So I think what happened is after that holiday window of 1979 closed, Mattel Toys offered these to other retailers if they wanted to offer it to their customers. I also think that maybe J.C. Penney's had overstock on these and somehow they ended up selling them to other stores. I'm not exactly 100% sure. So don't be surprised if you find one of these with a different company on it other than J.C. Penney's. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to the channel. Like I've said so many times in the past, there are tons of Star Wars and Star Trek channels, but very, very few dedicated to classic Battlestar Galactica. I hope you have a great Galactica Day, everyone. If you have this in your collection, please let me know. I'd love to know the story and how you found it, if it came from JCPenney or from your local box toy store. I'll see you in the next episode, everyone. Bye.